story time. I actually just found out Orange is taking the day off today. So excuse me for a moment while I go process that. Yeah! <laughs> All right. <clears throat> now then, standing in for Orange today is Lou the Tick. Good to be here, Pear. Excited to expose the dark truth about today's story. Um, well, today's story is Jurassic Park. It's not exactly a mystery, so I'm not sure what you expect to expose. Oh, I have a few ideas. I'll say, your manifesto is longer than the book. You bet Jurassic is. <laughs> oh, great. All right, let's see how this goes. Once upon a time, an eccentric millionaire invited a crack team of dinosaur experts out to a remote island. The reason? He wanted to give them a sneak peek at his new dinosaur-themed park before it opened to the public. But here's the twist. When the team got there, they discovered the millionaire had actually cloned real dinosaurs. And here's the other twist. That's a complete lie. He did not clone dinosaurs. What? I'm pretty sure that's how the story goes, Lou. Oh, Bear. Bear, Bear, Bear. What are we going to do with you, bud? You think Hollywood actually brought dinosaurs out of extinction for this movie? Bro, they're robots. Okay. I understand that. I don't think you do, amigo. Because earlier, you said that dinosaurs were real. Right. In the story, they were real. And that's where you're wrong. Because there were robots in the movie. There was some state-of-the-art CGI involved as well. Lou, I... Oh, bro. You are so lucky I'm here to dispel the misinformation for the audience. I can't believe you thought the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park were real. I don't think that. I'm working within the reality of the story, Lou. Sorry to bring it to you, amigo. But Jurassic Park, it isn't reality. It's fiction. I'm aware. Jurassic Park doesn't actually exist. It is a made-up place. I believe it might even be a book. It is a book. Can we please just get back to the story? <sighs> okay. So on the first night, it began to rain, hard. And this was bad news for the dino experts because the power on the island went out, which meant the electric fences around the dinosaur pens stopped working. And to make matters worse, water did a real number on the island. Again, they were actually robots. Dude! Oh, I'm serious. You ever see a robot get wet before? I have. They start wiggity wiggity. They start freaking out, man. Fine. Whatever. Across the entire island, dinosaurs started wiggity wiggity out. Exactly. They went nuts. Not even Steven Spielberg could control them. Wait. You actually think Steven Spielberg is in Jurassic Park? Um, he only directed it. Of course he was there. And yet, despite the dino robots going berserk and all that, nobody died. And no, not the end, Lou. A ton of people die in Jurassic Park. They're after <laughs> It was all fake. The quote-unquote lawyer who got eaten on the toilet? The so-called Nedry who got ink spat in his face? These are just actors. They're totally fine. Went on to do a number of other projects in their careers. You think I don't know that? Sure. You know it now because I'm educating you. <laughs> okay, you know what? You tell the story. You mean it? Yeah. I can't wait to see how you tell the story of Jurassic Park without any suspension of disbelief whatsoever. It's not going to be good. Of course it's not going to be good. It's going to be great. Okay, here we go. The year was 1993. Steven Spielberg assembled a crack team of thieves and liars. What? Some might call them actors or crew members, but the truth is, they embarked on a project to defraud and fool the general populace, all for the sake of making money. That's preposterous. Is it fair? Is it? First, they built some fake dinosaurs. Actors pretending to die from dino attacks. They recorded everything on a camera, and then they released the footage to the unsuspecting public. They actually paid money to watch Steven Spielberg's fake documentary about killer dinosaurs. No one thought Jurassic Park was real, dude. Oh, yeah? Then explain how Jurassic Park went on to make over a billion dollars at the box office pair. Obviously, a lot of people were very bold. I know I was, but in the years since, I've done independent research and uncovered the truth. Jurassic Park is fake! No, this is ridiculous! Is it? Because the only thing that seems ridiculous to me is how you can sit here and defend Steven Spielberg after he fleeced the world like this. And what's worse is that he keeps doing it. Jaws? The shark is a robot! Indiana Jones? Look a little closer. That's just Han Solo in a hat. It's all a big conspiracy. Wake up, sheeple! All right, well, I think that's enough truth for today. Thanks for watching.
minute, everybody. E.T.? That's not what aliens look like. Believe me, I know. That's a puppet, amigo. Enough! Okay, I can see I'm about to be censored by this book cover. Everybody go check out my book.